Little Boy is a gun-type fission weapon developed in the mid-1940s and was one of three bombs developed during the Manhattan Project having the code name Trinity. Little Boy was the second most powerful bomb after Fat Man among the three bombs. The Little Boy was the first atomic bomb to be used in wars. It was detonated in Hiroshima, Japan on August 6, 1945, at 8.15 a.m. It was dropped from a B-29 plane, named after the pilot's mother Enola Gay from 31,000 feet. The bomb exploded about 1,500 feet above the city with a force of 15,000 tons of TNT causing 70,000 deaths instantly and about 100,000 deaths by the end of 1945. The Little Boy bomb that was detonated in Hiroshima damaged up to 2.1 miles in diameter with one mile in diameter having been completely destroyed where the fireball was formed. Within a fraction of a second of the detonation, the temperature at ground level exceeded 7,000 degrees Celsius or 12,600 degrees Fahrenheit and a powerful blast wave scoured the landscape. Out of a population of 343,000 inhabitants, some 70,000 people were killed instantly. Although less than 2% of the uranium-235 contained in Little Boy had achieved fission, the bomb was horrifying in its destructive power. Little Boy has a length of almost 3 meters and a mass of 9,700 pounds or 4,400 kilograms it is small in comparison to the destruction it causes. Let's look at its major parts first before we see its mechanism. It is enriched with 141 pounds of uranium-235, divided into two parts, 85 pounds of projectile rings, and 56 pounds of target rings. Uranium-235 is a chemical element capable of sustaining a nuclear chain reaction. We will talk about it later. The next parts are the three electric gun primers that set off the power charges. Next, it has the cordite powder bags or the charges, projectile steel backing, projectile tungsten carbide disc, barometric pressure sensor holes leading to barometric devices, and a long bore gun barrel where the projectile ring passes. That is why it is a gun-type fission weapon because it is detonated like an automatic sensor gun that fires projectiles when the signal is received from sensors. Batteries and timer for the detonation of the bomb, army safety plugs so that the bomb doesn't explode upon transportation, tungsten carbide thumper cylinder sleeves, impact absorbing anvil. Tungsten carbide tamper plug, for modulated neutron initiator placed on the tungsten carbide tamper plug. This initiator is added to make sure that the chain reaction starts. The final component is the altimeter with a Yagi antenna, an instrument used to measure the altitude of the bomb using radar. Now this is how the little boy is detonated, as soon as the bomb is dropped from the plane. These arming plugs are pulled out therefore activating the timer of 45 seconds running on a 24 volts battery. This timer is crucial so that the bomb does not explode too early therefore compromising the aircraft and if it is too late the intended high levels of blast wave and increased yields of thermal radiation will not be met. The appropriate altitude for high levels of blast waves and increased yields of thermal radiation is 580 meters from the ground level for this kind of bomb. 15 seconds after the release, the bomb uses its barometric sensor to identify which altitude it is in, measuring the air pressure. A barometric device is used to avoid the disturbing signal which can send the wrong signal to the radar causing the bomb to detonate at the wrong altitude. Then at 2000 meters from the ground, the radar altimeter is activated, calculating the altitude of the bomb. When the radar altimeter detects the designated altitude which is 580 meters, it sends the signal to the projectile firing circuit, and the gun primers in the bridge plug are ignited which set off the four cordite powder bags this then launches the uranium projectile towards the target rings at the speed of 300 meters per second. When the projectile rings crash into the target uranium rings, simultaneously, the four neutron initiators are also activated. The polonium and beryllium inside them are mixed, releasing a burst of neutrons. These neutrons are very important in kickstarting the chain reaction. Then the neutrons will bombard the larger uranium-235 atoms, each uranium-235 atom bombarded with one neutron will release two more uranium-235 atoms, three neutrons, and a huge amount of energy. Then the new neutrons will bombard other uranium-235 atom. 
The process of bombarding the uranium atom with neutrons to produce energy is known as nuclear fission. Then the process is continued hence called a nuclear chain reaction. This chain reaction continues until the energy released explodes violently forming a fireball releasing both thermal pulse and shockwave causing massive damage to the area. The atomic bomb is a great threat to humanity because of its devastating power. The radioactive product left afterward can make the place inhabitable for centuries. But nowadays, the nuclear fission chain reaction is used in nuclear power plants to produce energy. If we can use nuclear energy for the betterment of human civilization, the future will be far better than the future with atomic bombs.